Hi Charge Heads, Tim here. So we are going, I say we, no one with me is there. Not yet though, because I'm gonna go and see my friend Steph uh, and we're going to an EV uh, meet. Quite specifically, a Tesla meet. And I've never been to one before. Uh, there's only one problem with that. Um, my missus has taken the Tesla. So I'm gonna jump in with Steph in his uh, Tesla Model 3 performance. I have a chin wag on the way. And this episode will have a bit of an update on the electric TVR as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. So here we are in the Tesla Mobile. Hi Steph, how are you doing? Hello Tim, yes, good morning. You guys might recognize Steph from an early video many uh, moons ago um, in a car show and I was showing off uh, Stefan's lovely Model 3 performance. It's, was it 2019? It's late 2019, yeah. And it's done, how many miles has it done? Not a lot, only sort of just over 20,000. Well, they, they do say that Bat car batteries that don't do too much mileage might actually ba be bad for the battery. I heard that recently, you know, but not that you should believe everything you hear, but it's, you know, uh, there's quite a lot of information around batteries, really interesting, that sort of stuff. But yeah, so there is a bit of an update on the TVR, and sorry I haven't done uh, many episodes recently, just been concentrating on family stuff. Um, but yeah, so, TVR update. So I spoke to Ralph recently, and, he said that it's not going to be ready till about July, end of July. And I was like, oh, Jesus wept, you know, because I was hoping to have it ready for some car shows. I was going to uh, do a couple of local shows and take it down there, have a bit of a charge his presence, but that is not going to happen now. Um, so I mean, it says end of July, you, you just don't know. So we'll just, I'll just keep updating you with the videos. You should have one coming soon. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be ready sooner than that. So me and Steph were catching up, and he started talking about uh, we're talking about cars, ofs, and um, he's just talking about uh, Stefan is talking about uh, taking his Model Y or Model oh, yeah, Three. Yeah. Where, whereabouts? We are going to um, the lakes in northern Italy. But you've already taken this particular Tesla to Italy before, right? No, no, we took the Y last year as well. Yeah, so you've got a Model Y, long range. long range, in the beautiful red, Yeah. and what did you have any options on it? Uh, the bigger black wheels. Of course. Uh, and it's got enhanced autopilot. Nice, nice. Okay, so bear in mind, there's, there's not many people that would want to drive as far as that in an electric car, but from a first-hand point of view, how, how did you get on? Yeah, it was very, very easy. I mean, I've driven to Italy a number of times, and it was the easiest time because the car did it all for you. It tells you where to go, where the chargers are, where to stop. And was it just te Tesla chargers or did you we, use? We, yeah, we just did Tesla superchargers all the way. Yeah. Um, there's a few destination chargers at some of the hotels. Um, okay. But yeah, it was very, very easy. Whereas before, you know, you're sort of stopping for fuel and you think, do I need to, do I not? Yeah. You know, a few language barriers here and there in some smaller villages, so no, I mean, it was very easy. There we go. I mean, something that uh, I had a conversation recently with someone, oh yeah, mind the many potholes. Pot Jesus. I mean, who isn't tired of potholes in this country? What can we do? Comments, please. Other than, you know, fr fr throw whatever what used to be in the pothole at Parliament, I guess, yeah. um, is charging. So I've noticed recently, because I'm doing loads of... <clears throat> Uh, miles in the Tesla now. I mean, it's done about 75,000 miles our Tesla now, bought uh, 56,000 about a year ago. And I'm using Tesla superchargers all the time. And yeah, I mean, I never have an issue with, I never plan the route. I've only ever planned a route once, and that was when I was going to Bristol and potentially Taunton, where the, yeah, the charges aren't as good down there. But I've never had to, I've never had to uh, go, do you know what? Oh, I need to just double check my route and all the rest of it. All you have to do is just press the button, button on there, on the steering wheel, take me to the nearest charger, and it does it. I even did a little test on the way to the EV body shop uh, episode you guys might have seen, um, where I actually purposely drove down there knowing that I'd need to charge up, and got to test the charger after the filming, absolutely fine with five miles or five percent batch, something like that, to go, charged up, went home, absolutely fine. Where there becomes an issue, 
is if you haven't got a Tesla, I think you do have to practice a bit more. But again, leave in the comments if you've got an electric car which isn't a Tesla, which you can do that easy charging, literally voice control, Bosch. Um, bearing in mind, you're not be using a Tesla charger, which at the moment I think they're, they're cheaper and obviously they're faster. I did come across one the other day that wasn't working. Oh my goodness, you know. That, that's that's a rarity as far as I'm concerned, but I have come to a lot of Tesla chargers where I'm literally taking the last space because it's getting busy out there. However, I know that Elon is concentrating on making a load. So carry on, sir. Doing a good job. But yeah, have you ever experienced a broken Tesla charger? Um, I've experienced a slow charger once. I've been up to Newcastle a couple of times this year and um, there's one services I stop at regularly. And for some reason that one charger was really, really slow. Um, Luckily, after I'd realised, I managed to move it to another one. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything's been trouble free. So, you know, a one off like that, no biggie. There we go. They're not perfect, you know. Uh, not just the, uh, you know, the body, uh, panel gaps. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, funnily enough, I did do a little uh, video on, I think it was TikTok actually. So keep, keep an eye on all the social media that you've got because I'm, you know, I do post a lot of stuff on Facebook, TikTok. Um, Instagram check it all out uh, and on the website I've recently updated the EV spreadsheet which is in the uh, general uh, forum uh, check it out it's got all the electric cars on there I've just updated it again I just haven't downloaded it yet um, so it'd be great to get some feedback on that um, so yeah we're just driving to the Tesla meet I'm really looking forward to see what's gonna be there and if there's gonna be any modified Tesla's there Obviously, I'm not going to be there, which is slightly disappointing, but I wanted to chat with my old chum, uh, Steph, you know, and uh, catch up. Um, so, so yeah, let's uh, carry on the drive and uh, hopefully get there soon. Put your foot down, Steph. Come on. We're in the performance. We're behind the blooming Vauxhall Corsa in. It's a special edition. I don't know what's special about it, no, other than probably the owner for buying a Vauxhall. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Vauxhall owners. <laughs> Unless you've got a Monaro, or a VX220, or maybe something retro cool like an SRI Belmont, you know. Do you got any Vauxhall favourites, uh, uh, Seth? I, I had a lot of Astra oh, SRIs you did, didn't you? in the early days, <laughs> hey, so I, I, no, no hate for Vauxhall from me. Um, they served yeah. me well in the early days. Yeah, so, so, sorry Vauxhall owners, but that's just my, that's my opinion. You know, everyone's got an opinion. Right, we're practically there, and we're, we're behind a Tesla Model S 65 plate. Look at that, a bit of old school. Oh, you know, I'm surprised the batteries haven't failed by now, Stefan, aren't you? Oh, look, lots of Teslas. Oh, look, it's, it, it must be a Tesla meet. Uh, yes, the Carrington Arms, here we are. Yeah, lovely so, place. Oh, Tesla Owners Club. Here we are. So what have we got? Model 3 performance, small dual motor, nice red S, another S. Ooh, oh, I've seen that Model S before with the funky wheels. Yeah, but I think that's yeah, that's the chap who's just walked past. That was it fully charged. It was at year. fully charged. Yeah, I remember the wheels. 14 PS, nice plate. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Yeah, maybe I should have brought my TBR, but we wouldn't, wouldn't have had the fun conversation, would we? So, plus, you know, saving the environment doesn't mean buying an electric car. It means driving less, doesn't it? At the end of the day, uh, Model Y with many uh, accessories on the roof. So yeah, we have arrived. So there's brunch involved, it's sit down. So uh, see if we can get some conversations going. I won't scare people off of the camera just yet. I'll just, just warm them up first. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've just had our brunch. A couple of testers have left because we've been chatting away. I haven't really found a good moment to uh, get the uh, camera out really. It's just been chatting away, uh, which is good. So I just thought I'd do a little walk around of uh, a few of the testers that are here. Quite a lot of Model S's actually. A um, couple of Model 3's, a couple of Model Y's, uh, a couple that have gone as well. Um, there's a rather cool uh, P100D uh, chap that I'll sit next to, he's 78, and uh, an engineer by trade and you know he uh, had a motorbike with a supercharger on which he had a world record on. That's his 100D there, the red one. So yeah, it's a great bunch of people. A uh, great bunch of people and just had a really good geek out on everything Tesla and battery wise, which is really good. 
Uh, but no doubt we'll start the video again and me and Steph will have a chat. You don't want an Audi up your chuff? No, thank you. Oh, look, the charge heads. Uh, air fresh has magically appeared, Steph. <laughs> Thank you uh, for your yes, support. That's a um, good product placement. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, very, very limited edition now. Very limited edition. Um, but it was interesting because, Jesus Ooh. Christ, that van just went sideways round the corner. I mean, to be honest, respect. But at the same time, shame on you. So, uh, <laughs> so, but <laughs> it was, he was more for hacking it. Um, so, Stefan was just saying that he was at a car event jm he's a youtuber uh very famous youtuber and she's got quite a few he's hundred thousand um yeah. you know uh, subscribers stefan was at a meet jm meet at the same place and he says it's it was so so different not the fact that you know uh that one was an electric event and one was a you know ice petrol car event and there was ferraris what other cars was, there? everything was jag mercedes lamborghini maserati a whole mix of uh, some pretty posh uh, vehicles but uh, as as Steph was saying um, before I started the camera is the fact that it's not just about car talk at the Tesla meet but we're also geeking out on you know talking about inverters and solar and battery storage anything else anything uh, charging as well yeah charging heat pumps oh, I didn't get any heat pump uh, combos <laughs> going <laughs> energy provider so, you know, people investing in other projects that are actually, you know, local energy hub things and it's, it, make, it's very, very diverse. It, 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 it is. Um, I mean, some would argue that uh, the car park is not massively diverse because it's just Teslas and all Teslas look the same, you know. Although there was quite a, a nice mix of Teslas and Model S's, mo uh, a couple of Model X's, a couple of Model Y's, a couple of Model 3's. No modified ones. So maybe me turning up with uh, Rusty would have been uh, a bit more interesting other than the fact that uh, it's got a massive dent in the door still because uh, yeah I mean simply I haven't got the money to uh, do it because uh, I have a certain conversion which is bleeding me dry um, but yeah we're we're back going to uh, Steph's so I'm going to pick up the charge head support vehicle um, and then I'm gonna be off home but what I thought I'd do is just have a quick sum up like we just did uh, talk about what the difference between something like a Tesla meet is and a car meet and also I'm going to give you a bit of a video footage of what I've been doing to the TVR um, it wasn't really worth doing a whole video on uh, for this particular snippet because I, I like to have the videos at least sort of 10 minutes long so um, just a bit of uh, me doing work on the TVR which is uh, it's, it's quite new and new it new is it Steph uh, me actually getting involved doing the, your own wrenching yeah exactly uh, kind of uh, oh, that's a nice house, look at that. So yeah, I'll leave you with this uh, nice house in the background and pass you over to uh, me working on the TVR. 1889, nice. Hi charge heads, I'm at Ralph's and I'm gonna be doing some work. Ah, all ready, it's still me. Um, I've got some paint, some hammerite, because as you might have noticed from the last um, episode, chassis was looking a bit flaky. So uh, I say flaky, it was just uh, just need touching up. Mm. So here we are in the workshop and I've got my overalls on. Oh my God, right, let's have a look at her. So look, they've been busy with the welding and it's all sorted. So the chassis is fixed, welded up, sprayed. Now it's my job. I thought, you know, I'd uh, get involved in uh, sorting out the chassis and just tidying it up because uh, we're going to be putting the body back on soon. And, you know, rather than uh, rather than let it go for a while, I thought it'd be good to get in and, uh, yeah, do some work on the wedgie and sort out the chassis. So that's what I'm going to do with uh, a bit of the good stuff. So as you may have seen, Charge Heads, I've been over it, side of it, under it. Hopefully I haven't got too much in the hair. Um, but yeah, it's looking so, so much better. Um, practically brand new. Refurbished, if you like. But we used Hammerite um, Smooth Finish because it's really good at protecting the chassis, which is ultimately very, very important. Might not look as pretty, but it's all about the durability of the chassis. So take a look. It's looking so much better. 
no more kind of spaces where there's uh, paint missing, what have you. All underneath done as well. So it is looking a hell of a lot better. I'm pooped now. So uh, I'm gonna go home, go have some lunch.